24. Good choice. Whenever I started, since then, I haven't been able to stop. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please just bear with me today. I'm not having a very good day, but I'm hoping this video will cheer me up and I'm hoping that if any of you aren't having a great day, this video will cheer you up as well because it is a pretty cute one. So today I'm getting Pinky, my dog, to pick my makeup. If you haven't watched my videos in a while, I'm sure you, most of you will probably know. We recently got a rescue puppy and she's called Pinky. We're not entirely sure how old she is. She's between six months and a year, but we're not not fully sure. We're also not sure what breed she is. We think she might be mixed with a Kokoni. A lot of people have said Jack Russell, Golden Retriever. There's a whole load of breeds that she could be, but she's basically, she was a Romanian street dog. And yeah, we've had her for just over a month now. I'm not sure who first came up with this idea to have a dog picks your makeup or like cat picks my makeup, pet picks my makeup. I know that James Charles has done it before. I think Nikki Tutorials has done it before, um, but I'm, I don't think that those two were the first people that started it. And when I type it in on YouTube, it comes up with so many videos that I don't actually know who the first person was to do this video. So if you do know, please let me know down below and I will pin that comment. So the, the way that I did it is I laid out three different makeup products per item. So like three different foundations, three different concealers, etc. Put a treat by each of them and whichever one she went to first, that's the one that I picked or she picked for me. So I think what I'm going to do is cut up that footage and put it in front of every step of my makeup routine, if that makes sense. And if you are more interested in finding out more about her, I do have quite a few videos over on my second channel, which is Sophie Does Vlogs, where I answer all the questions about her. So if you have any questions about Pinky herself, go over and watch that video. I think we should just get into it. Let's just, let's do it. So I guess we will just start out with Pinky's pick for primer. That was a bit of a tongue twister. She wants a treat. Pinks, sit. Good girl. Are you ready to pick my makeup? Yes, mom. So we've got Pinks, come here, come here. Rimmel. Oh, she's gone for it. She's gone straight she's gone for, that. for that one. She's gone straight for that one. Right. I don't even <laughs> <laughs> take it before she. She's gone for the Rimmel matte primer. I didn't even need to give her treats, but now it's covered in dog slobber. That's nice. Good girl. Good job. So she's gone for the Rimmel Matte Primer. I love how I'm saying she's gone for as if she actually had a conscious choice about picking my makeup. This is the Rimmel Matte Primer and it says all day shine control. I have used this before. I have used all of these products before, but I tried to pick some products that I haven't used in a while and I hadn't used this in a while. I also wanted a good range of like drugstore and high end and she went for the drugstore primer. So let's put this on my face. I think I've used this a couple of times. It's actually quite nice. My face is already pretty oily because I put my SPF on like two or three hours ago now. <laughs> And then I had to sort some stuff out and call the bank and yeah, just a lot. So next up we have foundation. Pinky, do your thing. So next is foundation. We've got KVD, we've got Anastasia, mm -hmm. Anastasia, and we've got Maybelline Dream Radiant. Right, which one, pinks? Go. Oh, she's gone for that she's one. She's gone for that one. Okay. So she went for this one. Again, another drugstore product. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid and I'm going to use the shade Ivory. If this is a little bit too, this is not going to be too light. Most of my tans come off. I'm going to go with Ivory. I do also have Nude, which is shade number 21. Ivory is number 10, but I think I'm going to go with Ivory. This is a thick foundation, but I actually quite like it. Also, how are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't spoken to you in ages just because I haven't uploaded in a week. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded for this past week. I've been struggling for video ideas a bit and um, yeah, life has just got in the way a bit, but quite a lot of you did suggest this video of Puppy Picks My Makeup. So thank you to those of you that suggested that I do this. I can't actually believe that Christmas is next week. Christmas is in a week and two days and it just doesn't feel like it is. I don't know, this is the least december -y December I think I've ever had in my life and it's really strange. All right, that's my foundation done. I might just put a little bit on this cheek to see if it will cover my acne scars, just a little bit more. It is actually a really nice foundation. I think for a drugstore foundation, it has a really nice finish and it doesn't actually feel too heavy, which is quite nice. I do find myself reaching for this one quite a lot in my daily life, but I just don't really show it on camera that often. And I would say that's a pretty good match for my color right now. Foundation is done. Let's see what she picks for concealer. So we've got Revolution, Conceal and Define, Urban Decay, Stay Naked, and the Uroma Stay Woke concealer. So let me just do them like this treat in front of each one. See which one she goes for. Oh, she's gone for the middle, the middle one. one. She's gone for the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Good choice. So for concealer, we've got the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. 
I really like this concealer and I've actually been using this a lot recently, which is why I put it in one of the three because I've been using it a lot recently off camera, but I thought I would bring it back on camera. I've got the shade 30NN, which is actually a bit light for when I've got tan on, but it's got a really nice applicator and it's got really nice coverage. I hadn't used this in a while and then I was going through my collection the other day and being like, what haven't I used? What did I used to really like? And then yeah, I remembered, I remembered about this concealer and I've kind of been using it ever since. Probably a bit light to cover my blemishes, but give it a shot. I can't get that bloody TikTok song out of my head that's like, I'm Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Schnell. Do, 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 do. You know the one? Do you know the one I mean? It was really big last Christmas and it's made a comeback this Christmas and it's just been stuck in my head for the past 24 hours and it's driving me slightly insane. But that's usually how TikTok works with its sounds. They must be doing something, right? The one thing about this concealer, which you have to be a little bit careful of, is it does dry very quickly. I probably just put a bit too much all over my face then for me to then blend it out. And it's got more coverage than the original Urban Decay Naked Concealer, which to be honest, I haven't used that one that much because I prefer this one, but this one's definitely more matte. So for powder, Pinky, would you like to choose me a face powder? Right, pinks. Next, you're gonna pick my powder. We've got Huda Beauty, Rimmel, and I Heart Revolution. Oh. Oh, she's gone for Revolution, or all of them. I Heart Revolution Peach Powder. You like that one? So I let her choose from a glowy one, which was a Rimmel, I think it was the Rimmel Radiance or Luminance powder. I can't remember what it was called. Then a bit more of a high-end powder and then the Revolution. Well, this is the I Heart Revolution Peach Powder. I completely forgot about this and I found it in a box today and was like, you know what? I haven't used it in a while. Used to quite like this and Pinky's picked it. It's only a fiver, so it's very cheap. Doesn't really smell of peaches though. It's got the tiniest little peach scent, which to be honest, I don't really mind because I'm not that, you know, bothered if my face powder is scented or not. And it's got a slight peachy tone to it, but it kind of just comes out translucent, I think. Oh my God, okay, I've just put too much on my face. You know what else I can't believe? I'm gonna be 24 in two months. 24, me, 24. I still feel 18. I mean, besides the fact that I now have moved out and have a dog, other than that, and other than the fact that I now do, um, do all my own washing and pay all my own bills, everything like that, like I'd still feel like I'm 18. I've grown up a lot, but I also still feel like a child and, when I speak to my dad, who's nearly 60, he tells me the same thing. And he's like, you know what? So none of us really ever grow up, which is quite nice, but also slightly terrifying at the same time. And I don't feel like I'm 24. Well, I'm not, I'm 23. I don't feel like I'm nearly 24 and it's freaking me the fuck out. Cause I just kind of feel like life is flashing before my eyes and I just want it to slow down just a little bit, but it seems to be just be getting faster and faster and faster. Okay then Pinky, pick me a bronzer. Bronzer, Too Faced, Milani and Fenty. One, two, three. And she's gone for the Too Faced one. Too Faced milk chocolate bronzer. Maybe she went for this one because it smells like chocolate. Although I don't actually think she's that smart. I think she just went for it because it's the first treat that she saw. But hey, you want this one? So she's gone for the Too Faced milk chocolate soleil. Actually no, it's not the milk chocolate one. The milk chocolate one is a slightly lighter one. This is just the Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer, which is a matte bronzer. Why, okay, the packaging for this, it looks gorgeous, but it's really hard to open if you've got slippery hands because it's magnetic, but like there's nowhere, there's no kind of, ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's no grooves to put your fingers, but it smells so good. I don't tend to use this that often because it is completely matte. They do do a shimmery one actually. I think I've also got that. Maybe I should have put that in the mix, but I wanted to pick some products that were slightly different. Different to what I normally go for, you know? Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> I really do have quite a theme here on my channel. Hi, if you're new, by the way, Um, of putting too much bronzer on my face. That's okay, it's okay. I'm not a makeup artist, we all know that. I just like to have fun with my makeup. Sometimes it goes to plan, sometimes it doesn't go to plan. Oh, I've got too much powder here on my nose. Just gonna use this to contour my nose just a little bit, as usual. Was 2020, oh my God, that's a bit of a strong nose contour. Was 2020 the year that I discovered nose contour? I can't remember. Whenever I started since then, I haven't been able to stop and I've just put way too much on. So let's try and blend that out a bit. I just feel so naked without nose contour now. I still feel like this is too strong. Come on, let's let's try and blend you out. Right, moving on to blush, take it away. Right, so for blush, I've got MAC, Naturally Flawless, I've got XX Revolution, and I've got Ofro. You know what, I'm gonna put the treats behind them so she has to find, okay, she, she can easily find them. 
She's gone for the XX Revolution. Good choice. This is the blush that she chose, XX Revolution in Obscure. So for blush, Pinks has picked me the XX Revolution. It's making me laugh whenever I say Pinks has picked me, as if I'm like, oh yeah, just pick me a blush. And she's been like, okay, I picked this one. This is the XX Revolution Obscure blush. This is the color of it. It is a nice blush and I have used this before. Not very often though. It's quite a peach tone blush, which I really like. And I do just like to put a little bit on my nose as well. This one in particular is completely matte. And what I quite like about these is they do have a big mirror inside them. So we're just gonna go with loads of blush today because why not? It's Christmas, I wanna be Rudolph. So next we move on to highlight. I did give Pinky my highlighter palette as an option, but let's see what she decided to pick. We've got a, a, a um, interesting decision here. We've got my highlighter palette. We've got an old favorite, which is the Balm Mary Luminizer. And we've got a Bougie Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. Choose wisely, Pinky. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, she's eating both, but she definitely went for this one first. We're going for the Farsali Jelly Beam. I haven't used this in months. Maybe like a year, actually. So, um, Little Miss Bougie went for the bougiest highlighter on the floor. This is like wobbly jelly highlighter. I'm surprised that this hasn't gone funny yet and dried up because a lot of my jelly highlighters don't tend to last very long. This is one of the jelly and like liquid highlighters that I've tried that I actually like and did get on with. You need such a small amount. I'm gonna dip into what's on the lid here and get a little bit of that jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. That might be too much. Wish me luck. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, it's too much and it's not blending out. You kind of have to like scrub it for it to blend out. Okay, wait, no, it's blending. Blending just about. Oh, okay, we just managed to save that. You have to blend it out before it sets. I've just put way too much on. I didn't want that much highlighter, but we'll go with it. Okay, yeah, so something with this, you have to work quickly with it because it kind of applies in streaks and then you've just got to really work that brush around to try and make it not look streaky. And you do get there eventually, you see, but it's just, it's interesting. It takes a bit of working with. Oh, it's really pretty though. It is really pretty, but I've definitely just put too much on and like, why is it under my eye? A bit on my brow bone. Oh, this is, oh, this is where I remember it went wrong last time. Trying to put this down my nose. Okay, yeah, I should have used my finger. It's definitely an interesting product. And I think if you didn't set your whole face, you would probably really like this. But that being said, I did set my whole face and it still works. So next up we have brow combos. So brow combos this time. Brow pomade and gimme brow pencil and gel. She's gone for this one because it's the first one that she saw. The rest of them have been neglected. But we also had the Benefit Brow Styler and the 24 hour brow setter. But she's gone for the brow pomade, cabrow and gimme brow. Well, I mean, would it be my personal first choice? I probably would have gone for the pencil and the gel. I wanted to give her a few different choices. I did a pencil, I did a pomade, and then I did that weird Benefit brow product that's what is it called? The Benefit Brow Styler, where it's got the powder on one end and then a pencil on the other side. But she went straight away for the Cabrow, which is a pomade. I don't really use pomades that often anymore. And then the Gimme Brow Plus in shade three, just cause I usually would wear like a regular brow product and then add some sort of brow gel. So that's why I paired each of them together with one. So I've got the shade two and it does come with a little brush in the handle, which is actually a pretty good brow brush cause it's really tiny. Oh, is this dried out? Oh no, actually it's all right, it's all good. I did go through a phase where I used this so much and then I just kind of stopped using it because I decided that pencils are way quicker and make your brows look a lot less blocky. But then I know that some people love a pomade. This color does actually match my brows pretty well. Ah! Oh no. Every time I sit down to film, I'm like, oh, I really need to pluck my eyebrows. And then I just forget and then I don't do it. And then I'll film again and be like, I need to pluck my eyebrows. And then I'll forget again. And uh, yeah, kind of just how I live my life with everything really. Like, oh, I better do that thing. Three months later, have I done it? No. I'm actually gonna take the big Benefit Brow Brush just cause the actual brush on this one is bigger. So it's probably gonna take less time. Using a pomade just takes so much longer. Are my brows looking normal? I'm not too sure that they are. James is actually out walking Pinky right now and he's probably getting absolutely soaked. So I'm then just going in with the Gimme Brow in the shade three just to fluff them up a bit and give them a little bit more definition. Those are some bold eyebrows. Very bold and very uneven. Right, so moving on to the eyes, I thought I would give Pinky a selection of palettes of ones that I've used before and you guys have asked me to use again. So she picked for me and uh, let's see what she picked. Right, Pinky, you've got a big decision to make here. This, you, you'll get quite a few treats for this one. Eyeshadow palettes. 
So I've got Mitchell's palette, I've got Nikki Tutorials palette, and I've got Christie's palette because I've only used all of these once on my channel, I think. And I want to use one of them again. I want to use all of them again, but let's see which one she goes for. Okay. Yep, she's still going for Christie's. Well, I guess we're doing another look with Christie's palette. And I've only done one look with this, so yeah, I'm excited to do another look. Something a bit different this time. Good choice. So she's gone for Christie's palette, which I did use last week on my channel, which is the At Forest Sight palette with Colourpop. And last time I did a green look. Did I do green? Let me just double check. Let me just double check my fact. Okay, yeah. Last time I did a green look. Today, bit of a tricky one because I want this to match the lip that Pinky has chosen. Spoiler. So I don't want to do anything that's not going to match that, but then I want to do something. I don't want to use both the shimmers. Because last time I used mostly the greens, this time I'm going to use the burnt orange and this brick sort of colour and this purpley brown and then maybe the gold and maybe the duochrome. Let's give it a go. So I'm just priming my eyes. I mean, I wasn't going to go as far to get her to pick me an eye primer because, you know, they all sort of do the same thing. Oh, James, I'm so sorry for sending you out on a walk. <laughs> it is chucking it down. So I'm gonna start with the shade Homegrown, which is this dark, I, can't, I still can't tell to this day whether that's brown or whether it's burgundy, but I guess we'll find out. I think it's a dark burgundy brown. And I'm gonna put this on my outer corners. And then I'm going to go in with Rainer, which is this shade here, which is like a brick red colour. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my eye. And then I'm sort of going to use that to blend out the other colour a little bit. Then I'm going to dip into Chanterelle, which is this mustardy colour. And I'm just going to use that to blend out all of these edges. It's a really pretty colour combo. Not sure how well I've executed it. That brown has gone a little bit patchy on the outer corners, but that could be my fault. I'm actually just going to bring that ready brown shade all over my eyelid, the brick red colour. I'm dipping back into that shade Homegrown, which is the dark colour. I'm just going to try and add a bit more and blend it together a little bit better. And then I'm using just a really big fluffy brush to try and kind of blend those shades together. And then I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that chanterelle mustardy color. Use that to blend again. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm gonna use the exact same shades on my lower lash line, starting with that brick red, just with a smaller brush. A little bit of the mustard, mustardy color. And then a tiny bit of the darker brown. Then this time around with this palette, I am going to use the shimmers. Let's test both of them. So I'm using the shade Evergreen. Oh my God, this is the most, since Taylor Swift has launched Evermore, this al this album, this palette just reminds me of the album. I'm taking the shade Evergreen, which is this one. I know I probably won't go with this, but I just really want to try it. Hmm. Let me just try again with that shade. I'm gonna try a brush this time because with my finger it was a little bit underwhelming, which is strange because normally the finger works the best when it comes to eyeshadow. It's not really wanting to apply over the top of those shades. I think this could be the type of shimmer where you need a bit of setting spray or just a little bit of something sticky underneath it to kind of see its full potential because it's not giving me that much. Or is it? I don't know. In my mirror here, it's just not looking that exciting. Really sorry if you can hear that. James is having a bath. It won't be like that for long. I'm really, really sorry. So I'm then going to use the shade West Coast, which is this one here, the gold. This one looks a bit better, you know? This one looks more promising. Oh, wow. Okay, that one is a much different texture. Okay, yeah, that one is a lot better. And then I'm just going to use a brush to get all up in that inner corner. I do think that this one would also benefit from having a slightly sticky base down or a little bit of setting spray. Should we try it? Closing that damn drawer. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, wow, wow, wow. With setting spray, almost turns it into a liquid foil. So this is my second look that I've done with the Christie palette. I do think it's turned out nicely. I was just a bit disappointed with this shimmer. So next we have eyeliner. And I did quite a few different options again for this one. One with white eyeliner, one was a brown eyeliner, and one had a glitter liner as well as the black. And was also a stamp liner. So let's see which one she went for. So for the eyeliner, I've got brown, I've got white and black, and then I've got a stamp liner and glitter. One, two, three. You ready? I can see her iron up this one already. Yes, <laughs> she always just goes for the left one. 
Good girl. So she went for the option with the stamp liner and the glitter liner. This is the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy. And this is the Lottie London Stamp Liner, which has a stamp. Okay, that's not the stamp side, that's the regular side. It has a stamp on one side to create your wing. I don't get along with stamp liners too well, but it's what Pinky's chosen, so. That went a lot better than I thought it would. And then I use the other side to just connect these together. You know what? If you really struggled with your wing liner, that was actually incredibly easy. It's not the most sharp and precise wing, but then I'm gonna use the pen to kind of top it up. It almost acts as a guide. Oh, this one's at a different angle though. You know what? It actually is a very black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go in with the glitter liner. I think I'm gonna use this on my inner corners. It doesn't quite go because it's not the same shade of gold. It's almost like a silver silvery gold then again with the mascaras i wanted a few different options a super cheap one a middle range one and then gucci next up we've got mascara we've got the diego dalla palma my toy boy which looks like a dog toy it also looks like a dildo ps lash contour from primark which is like a pound and then i pulled out my gucci mascara to see if pinky likes a bit of gucci well we'll soon find out Oh, she's gone for the middle one first. You want this one? So she went for the Diego Dalla Palma My Toy Boy Mascara, which is the most ridiculously big packaging for mascara that I've ever seen. But it's actually a really nice mascara. It makes your lashes very thick, very clumpy. It's got the most ginormous brush I've ever seen. Packaging, excessive. Mascara, pretty damn good. And it's very quick because the brush is so big we are nearly at the end so the next step is lashes pinks please pick me a pair of lashes please pick me one of my favorites thank you very much so for lashes i've got jamie's lashes in jamie 3 unicorn cosmetics in look of the day and unicorn cosmetics in what does that even say oh bubble pop yeah she's eyeing on that one <laughs> she knows that there's just a row of them but she's gone for Unicorn Cosmetics Bubble Pop, which are actually some of my favourite lashes ever. So I guess good choice. She's got good taste. I will give her that. They're so nice and spaced out and wispy and lightweight. Like, look at the difference. They're just such nice lashes. They don't add too much drama, but they just add enough. And then the last step was the lips. So I wanted to give a couple of options. So I did a brownie nude, a pinky tone nude with a plumper. I did a red and I did a dark burgundy. And this was her final selection. So the final decisions are lips. I'm gonna give her five choices, which is maybe a bit excessive. Actually, no wait, there's four. We've got a nude, but it's with the Project Lip Lip Plumper that nearly burnt my lips off. We've got, she can smell the treats in my pocket. Mm. She, we've got brownie nude, which is a different lip combination, which is the Cash Beauty lipstick, Fenty lip cream, and the Cash liner. We've got red, which is a Bare Minerals lipstick, and a NYX liner, and then I've got like a dark purple. Release okay. the hound! And yeah, uh, oh, she's gone for the red! And I might get her at the end to see her reaction. She's not gonna give a shit, because she's a dog, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. She's a good girl. <laughs> What's this? You're so good. Pinky. Mwah. I think she must be feeling festive because she went for the red lip. I was actually wearing this red lip in a TikTok and in a vlog the other week and I got so many questions on it. So it's the Bare Minerals Lipstick in the shade Energy. It's one of their Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipsticks. It's a really gorgeous orange toned red. And then the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Kitten Heels. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. So this is Pinky's finished look. Well, it's definitely very festive. It is definitely very dramatic. I would not feel comfortable going out with this dramatic makeup, but for video, I guess it's okay. So this is the finished look. By the way, I do have a hair tutorial coming soon on my vlog channel. I thought I would film how I do my hair like this uh, with my air wrap just because a lot of people ask me whenever I actually bother to do my hair. That's going up on my vlog channel soon. I'll try and edit it and get it up in the next few days. You know what we just need now to finish the video? We have a very sleepy little pinky here. She's also a bit wet because she did get wet in the rain on her walk with James. Let's put you down, baby girl. Oh, she's licking my arm. Come on, Goodbye. Then, yeah. So there we go, guys. You asked for it. 
puppy picks my makeup, pinky picks my makeup, dog pick, picks my makeup, whatever you want to call it, that is this. And I do quite like the finished look, it's definitely very festive. I'm now just going to pick a question of the day from my previous video. If you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day, and I usually try and answer one at the end of my videos. Today's question comes from Brie Forey, and she said, this is the first time I've been early to a video. Thank you, Brie. And she has said, question of the day, what's your favourite meal to make on a cold day? It's quite chilly here in Louisiana, USA, and I would love some ideas. First of all, hi to Louisiana in the USA. That's pretty cool that you're watching my videos from all the way over there and in terms of comfort food that just makes me feel cozy and nice on a cold day one of my favorites is spaghetti bolognese which I know is so basic but I just love it and some garlic bread as well and great cheese on the top that is my ultimate comfort food and whenever I make a spaghetti bolognese now we always put some red wine in it and just make it really nice and just terribly bad for you but really delicious another thing that I love making on a cold day as well. There's this mango-y sort of curry that I make that I actually got the recipe, well, I kind of adapted a recipe similar from James's family who have made this before. They do a mango chicken sort of recipe. It's kind of like a chicken korma, but then you just add some spoonfuls of mango chutney in it to make it sweeter. And then I also add in quite a lot of spinach and the spinach just absorbs all the flavors and then have that with rice and chicken and it's really, really good. But that was a good question. Please let me know down below, actually, all of your cozy, warming, home-cooked recipes, because I would love to know, because I do actually quite enjoy cooking. Right, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are doing good. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go edit this now, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.